Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionals, where medicine makes perfect sense. I do apologize for not uploading videos for seven days. I was doing my taxes and going through this 10,000 page document was such a freaking experience. I was having night terrors and nightmares about dropping coffee on my tax return. Today is episode number two, Medicosis and the Music, and today we will discuss and dissect Hello by Adele. So let's get into it. The song is Hello, the artist is Adele, the album is 25, which reminds me of CD25 deficiency. CD25 is the same thing as interleukin 2 RA. This is interleukin 2 receptor alpha chain. And believe it or not, trypanosoma cruzi, which is Chagas disease, will lead to a deficiency of your interleukin 2 receptor alpha, which will lead to immunodeficiency. And that's why Chagas disease can be fatal if left untreated. And because one disclaimer a day keeps the lawyer at bay, we are not making fun of anybody. This is pure satire to make pathology easy for medical students. This is gonna be epic. Hello. Howdy. It's me. Oh, she's oriented to person. That's amazing. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet. After all these years, she's oriented to time. Wonderful. To go over your taxes. Does she work for the government? I'm sorry, it's just that preparing taxes made me miserable. They say that time's supposed to heal ya. Nope, time is not one of the cytokines that induce tissue regeneration. I've never read about it in Robin's pathology. But they ain't done much healing. No healing? Ah, this is uncontrolled blood sugar. This diabetes, baby. I bet her urine is so sweet. That's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. Or is it a joke? In fact, the word diabetes means urine and mellitus or mellitus means sweet. Contrast that with diabetes insipidus. Urine insipid. Tasteless. Because there is so much water in the urine because of decreased ADH activity. So before these sophisticated lab techniques, doctors used to differentiate between diabetes mellitus and diabetes insipidus by tasting the patient's urine. Ew. And you guys are sitting on your gluteal regions on the couch in the 21st century and saying, Oh, medicine is so hard these days. Oh, shut up. You ain't seen nothing, baby. So, diabetes, the wounds will not heal. How about deficiency of interleukin 10 and TGF beta? The wounds will not heal. How about squamous cell carcinoma of the skin? The wounds will not heal. Hello? Shao. Oh, you just said hello before. Why are you repeating yourself? Are you autistic? Or are these early signs of Alzheimer's dementia because of your age? Can you hear me? She's talking to herself. She's getting a little psycho. Too much dopamine in her system. Speaking of dopamine, I'm in California dreaming about who we used to be. I'm in California. She's oriented to place. So now I got my triad. She's oriented to person, place, and time. Besides the fact that she has diabetes and her wounds don't seem to heal, but no one is perfect. At least she is oriented to person, place, and time. And since she is singing the song, she's also alert. So her brainstem function is normal and her cortical functions are intact. She's in California dreaming. This is the REM sleep, REM sleep. What does REM stand for? Rapid eye movement. Here is an experiment that you should never perform. Wait until Adele goes to bed and then come closer to her, slowly but carefully. Start lifting up her <clears throat> palpebri superioris, her upper lid, and you will see her eyeballs moving rapidly. And that's why we call it REM sleep, rapid eye movement. Because when you're dreaming, your eyes are moving rapidly indeed. And this is called the REM sleep, and this is normal. But how about the REM sleep disorder? Have you heard of it? Please let me know in the comment section. When we were younger, oh, she's nostalgic. The good old days. Back in the day when I was your age, I led the independence of this country. Okay, Nelson Mandela, we get it. Back to California, when we're younger and free. Oh, the government sucks. I'm kidding. I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet. Felt and feet. Oh, pins and needles, paresthesia due to her diabetes. That makes sense. That's why she was trying to lose weight lately. No doctor is shocked. Now forget this crazy song for a second and let's talk about brain functions. Brain functions. Okay, we have arousal 
and we have awareness slash orientation. These are not the same. There is a huge difference between them. Arousal, if you are aroused and alert, this is brainstem function, specifically the reticular activating system. He's alert, doctor, he's aroused. Okay, which means, he's like the brainstem is function. He's opening his eyes, he is like responding to painful stimuli, etc. And then awareness or orientation, this is cortical function, higher function. Oh, who am I? Where are we? And what time is it? If you are alert and oriented, this is AO times three. Alert and oriented to person, place, and time. AO, AO, so off to work I go, said the bumper sticker of the Chevy Silverado. Oh, and by the way, don't forget that California has coccidioide mycosis after earthquakes. Hello from the other side. Is this New York where they have blastomycosis? I must have called a thousand times. Oh, this fits with Alzheimer's dementia. She's hustling. I like that. To tell you I'm sorry. Calling a thousand times to tell you I'm sorry. Oh, this is a dependent personality disorder. Cluster C, by the way. But when I call you, you never seem to be home. Oh, he's at work. He's always on the road in Texas, busting his glutes in the middle of the pandemic while listening to country songs. Adele, forget it. He probably met another girl. She's sitting in the passenger seat in that dark blue 1998 Ford F-150 pickup. Hello from the externa. At least I can say that I've tried. Oh, she wants a 10th place participation trophy. This girl is a princess. To tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. Broken heart syndrome. Takutsubu cardiomyopathy. Takutsubu, not Taco Bell. The cultural struggle is real. But it don't, it don't, it don't, uh, d grammatically it doesn't make any sense. But it's a song, so it's okay. Who cares? Doesn't tear you apart anymore. Tear you apart? Oh, this is the tearing chest pain of the dissecting aortic aneurysm. So, she wants him to develop Takotsubo cardiomyopathy and dissecting aortic aneurysm. And then she has the audacity to wonder why he's not returning her calls. She's a princess. It is so typical of me to talk about myself. No one gives a rip. And then in the next lines, she will have the temerity to make fun of his small town in Texas. It's no secret that the both of us, the both, what happened to the English language? Both of us are running out of time. She's starting to experience hot flashes and dryness. It's so normal at her age. There's nothing wrong with that. My dear Adele, you are just beautiful just the way you are. And this should be a song for another time. Now let me know what's the next song that you would like me to trash it using the power of pathology. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my antibiotics course. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense.